Hi everyone, welcome to my nuggets on the economy. I've not had this in a while. Um, that's because there really hasn't been that much that has been going on. But um, I think we're back again. And so today I, I want to talk about Nigerian stock market. I know you got like my, you know, one of those boring subjects. I don't want to hear about it. But you got to listen to this one. Um, so today, the Nigerian Stock Exchange issued a press release, and in that press release, they said that they had they had to stop the market from trading today because, um, and then they applied what you call a circuit breaker. I repeat, they had to stop the market from trading today and applied a circuit breaker. They did this because the market was sort of hit a buy limit, a buy target. That's incredible. Incredible. So to understand how circuit breaker works, what they're doing is that when people have, when people buy stocks and you buy it such that the, 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 the price increase or the value of the total number of stocks, right, that the market has gained in one day, is more than five percent a circuit breaker comes in you also have something similar when there's when the market is getting oversold so you do this just so that you you like you know let everybody like everyone catch your breath and then let's see what's happening so the market was oversold today like there was a circuit breaker five percent in one day one whole day this is like what we get in a month or a quarter we got it in one day five percent it's incredible incredible uh you know it's only due to one thing right people are investing massively in the stock market that's what's happening so it kind of looks like we're going back to 2007 8 if you all remember when the stock market was so bullish you know it's a good thing and it's a bad thing but before we get to what's good and what's bad let me try and explain why this is going on if you recall in one of my sessions i had said that because there's limited investment outlets out there nobody wants to buy treasure well not sorry i shouldn't say nobody treasure bills is now at 0.5 percent so it's no longer as lucrative as it used to be um things like fixed income securities are like single digits so it's not that much fun to invest in free government in government securities that are risk-free recall that you know there was a time when you could buy government bonds the treasury bills and they're going to be paying like 12 13 percent without taking any risk and that basically snuffed out investment in the stock market for years for years over five six seven years uh the stock market went through this the cycle of you know, low demand uh, and low prices. And then even when the stock market looked like it was doing well, it was mostly because you had foreign investors coming back into the market. But now it's doing amazingly well without foreign investors. And the reason why that's happening is because, you know, Nigerians are awash with cash. I'm sure you're like, how is that possible? Yeah, there's just a lot of cash out there, Naira though, not dollars. And that money is not going to dollars because you can't even buy that much dollars again. That money is not going to treasury bills. It's got to find its way somewhere and it's finding its way to the stock market. That's what's happening. So as you and I speak, the stock market is up 35% or so year to date. It's incredible. Like it's one of the best performing markets in the world right now. Just three or four months ago, this market was in the negative. So it's just amazing what, what has happened. And, 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 and to get to the good and the bad, the good is that, you know, a lot of stocks have been underpriced, undervalued for years. So perhaps now those who patiently invested in the stock market years ago are now reaping the benefits of it, right? So those who lost money now are, are now probably going to start to claw back some of that money. So you're seeing the stock market come back. So that's good. And it also means that a lot of businesses who have been on the sidelines and they're trying to exit can now start to come back to the stock market to raise money. Okay, uh, so maybe you've you've got a business that you've invested in 5, 10 years ago and it's time for you to just exit 
and typically where you exit is when you do an IPO an initial public offering or, or a public offering and you do this on the stock market but you know businesses have been able to do that for years because you're, you're not going to get the value that you want now it's also good because now Nigerians now get to start to own Nigerian businesses so you're no longer waiting for you know, foreign investors to come in and start to cherry pick our companies and start to own them. So, so a lot of Nigerians can now own a lot more, more, more companies, right? And and then that is also good because a lot of companies as well now have cheap capital that they can invest back into their business and expand. We are in a dire, we're in dire economic, uh, you know, in a dire economic situation. Uh, we're likely in a recession, as I've said before. But there are opportunities in things like this because when there's a recession and, and things like that, asset prices are very depressed. So the fact that the stock market is booming suggests that maybe there's a better outlook for Nigeria, you know, in the next six months. So um, what's the bad? The bad here is that when everybody's going into the stock market, like someone says, when you have a lot of bulls running into a China shop, you start to see a lot of things just fall. Uh, when you get anybody, everybody just running into that market, it might end up, um, you know, causing the market to fall, right? Because it might lead to a crash. I think that's the best thing to say. It might lead to a crash. Uh, leading to a crash means that a lot of people are going to go in, and when a lot of people start to go in, we will not get into an asset bubble. Stocks are now overpriced. And then, you know, when people now want to get out, the market now crashes. This has happened before. Uh, we've learned the lesson though, but I mean, but it's happened before. Uh, another thing too is that, another bad side of it is that there's not a lot of stocks out there. I think there are probably like 180 stocks and inside that 180 stocks, there are not more than 60 or so that are investable. Most of them are not stocks that you want to invest in. So that means there's just a little, just few amounts of stocks that you can put money into. And a lot of them are not well capitalized, which means that you, you, they can't even take, even if you have all the money in this world, they can't even take it in. They can't, not just possible, because they're not that capitalized. For example, between the MTN and Dangote Cement, that's, and uh, maybe um, 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 GC Bank and Zenit and Access, that's like, you know, 60, 60% or so of the stock market entirely. So, I mean, how many of us are going to buy those stocks? Uh, and so, uh, and that, that's, that's, the, that's the downside of it. But the good side is that, you know, things are a lot better. They are, uh, sorry, not the good side, I've talked about good side already. Uh, how you can mitigate this is, is that uh, you know there's a lot more investor education people are a lot more aware now uh, you know the er- er- era of margin lending where you can borrow money to invest in stocks it's no longer uh, you know that easy anymore so a lot of the money that is good into the stock market is people's money like your cash people's equity so that's what's going in there or pension funds and things like that so there's a lot you know of discipline there and then people are a lot more aware now there's a lot more transparency companies release their results a lot more and then you also have people who can do good analysis as well about the risk uh you know that you're going into in, in stocks like that so so that's those are the mitigating things and of course you've got Niametrics as well who always going to help you you know with the news and information and analysis that you need uh you know to make better better investment decisions so that's what's happening today in the stock market uh in case you're wondering or in case you said why didn't why didn't nobody tell me this why am i just hearing it for the first time well i've told you i've been saying this for a while uh, maybe maybe <laughs> it's a lot more difficult to get value stocks now. Uh, value stocks means that when you buy and then maybe the price might go up later and then you make some money. It might be a lot more difficult, but you got to keep your eye on this one. Keep your eyes on this one. Uh, if it continues like this, well, we're looking at more money to be made between now and, and next quarter. So that is my brief uh, economic brief for today. And um, come on, give me feedback. i like to see that. Uh, if there's anything you want me to discuss, uh, tell me and, and I'll, I'll touch on it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.